My name is Aaron Harrington. I'm 30 years old. I'm a professional skateboarder. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I've lived in this apartment and in New York for about 10 years now. And I got on Polar because I was filming with Jeremy Elkin, and Jeremy Elkin was doing like his own video projects at the times, uh, the Brody's video and Poisonous Products. Pontus contacted Josh about distribution and stuff like that, and if Josh knew anybody in the States that would be a good fit. So I went skating with them one day. You know, within one day, I felt very accepted and I felt very um, a part of it and very welcomed, you know, and, and it was like a very smooth transition. Started going on like little skate trips and stuff like that, you know, um, and that was like shit, like seven years ago or something like that, you know. I wasn't like an adventurous person in high school. Like I thought I was like, a cool guy in my mind, but really I was just like quiet and shy and like whatever. But like to me, I was like, fuck all these people. Like, I don't like these guys. Like I was one of like two people who skated. I just started kind of feeling weird and I started traveling the world with Converse and partying and certain things and my mindset got the best of me. It took me a long time to realize that the way that I was feeling and the way that I was coping with what I was doing was because of like what I had, what I had done. I've always experienced like guilt and having a guilty conscience, but I never really like understood that like, oh, I'm drinking 30 beers a day or like I'm drinking this much because I'm, I'm feeling guilty or I feel bad or I feel like this or I feel like that. That really kind of started like the start of issues. I, I just never really got back to who I was before then. And that turned into like, anxiety medication for flying and then I started like abusing the anxiety medication because I didn't realize like how much I was drinking you know I could come home and have stints of time where I was like oh I don't drink like I don't have a problem but then like catch me on like a bender or catch me you know for 10 days drinking straight it became an issue mainly when I just started going on trips and I would take medication on flights and then the person that I was on the airplane was who I was for the rest of the trip you know, at times would be extremely difficult, extremely negative. Sometimes I'd be extremely positive, extremely excited and stoked and like the, maybe the best dude to be around. But there was definitely like multiple times where I had Pontus and I had like Paul Grund and Tao and Lee Berman and multiple people like pulling me aside and being like, yo, you have an issue. Like there's a problem. Like you drink way too much. Like you're taking these pills too much. You're smoke way too much weed, you know, like you're not in the right mindset. Waking up for the first time like with the shakes and like certain things like that and like having panic attacks and just like not understanding like what my bodily response was at all to like what I was putting myself through. You know, like I just thought it was like a hangover or whatever, but I was just like caught up in a problem. There were times where like I would want, I would try to express myself to some people and unfortunately at times people just didn't necessarily know how to relate or they could relate and like the advice they gave me was like not necessarily helpful or it was negative. And then like that made me feel the odd one out or something like that, you know? The only person on that trip that I honestly could talk to was Ben. I was just going through like my, basically like a psychosis is what it felt like. And I just remember like saying something and he was just like, he was like, just stop being so hard on yourself. Like you're a good guy. Like just stop beating yourself up. And you know, it wasn't even like I had expressed any like certain things, but he just like had seen like could see something in me. I realized I did have someone to talk to on trips a lot of the times. You know, there have been times where it's been really, really hard. You know, because especially when you're going through like drinking issues and stuff like that, and the whole trip is basically revolves around partying. It's hard to like try to express yourself or try to tell people like, hey, I have a problem. And like I thought it was funny, but then fast forward nine months to a year and I'm in like fully back into kind of basically this psychosis state of alcoholism and I'm on a trip in Portugal I'm like being super dickish about all this vegan food and all this stuff and Dale I was like like shut up like you're drinking 30 beers a day like what do you care about like vegan food like what do you care about your health like you're you drink 10 beers before it's 10 a.m. you know and like something in my brain just like popped and like I lost my, my shit like I just like lost my mind basically through the grapevine like Jerome and Lee basically just like contacted my parents and like you need to go and like figure your stuff like figure your life out uh, it was just very evident that there were things that were not right you know and with alcohol it was just making it extremely worse
just doesn't seem like people realize that like there's so much uh, drugs and alcohol like influenced into skateboarding and then it's so acceptable and it's like just a part of the culture like the same way like the fashion world is like run the same kind of way kind of are like the kook the odd guy out the weirdo if you're not the dude at the party I, I, I just wish that there was more like acceptance of like oh that person doesn't do that like that's totally fine That's when I started getting like mental health help. I started going to a psychologist and started like speaking to somebody because at the time I was just getting biased opinions and biased feedback. I couldn't explain what was happening in here. It started to help me understand a lot of things and a lot of like behavioral traits. And going to a doctor and basically just getting like a, an assessment of like my blood work to see if like everything was okay. The amount of alcohol I was drinking was affecting my liver to where my liver wasn't filtering from the alcohol and it was putting it in my blood. And so then that like goes through your body and goes into your brain and it causes alcohol induced insanity. When I got those blood results back, I had to like basically start uh, doing the medical procedures of making sure that my liver was going to get back to normal. That's when all of a sudden emotion and everything that I had been suppressing for years, all of a sudden like the floodgates had opened. Being a pro skateboarder, you lack structure so there's infinite amount of time to worry or dread or do nothing or just whatever. Going to the doctor was like the, the starting of it, you know, and realizing the damage I had done to my body and then realizing the damage that I had done to my, my brain, I guess, in a way. And therapy is something that I do twice a week. You literally get, are getting a non-biased, professional, educated response from somebody about how you're feeling. More suicidal awareness and mental health awareness and like actually knowing like how your teammates are truly feeling or like if you see someone like overindulging in something and you're a team manager, pull them aside and be like, is, is everything okay? Therapy, I would say, is like a big recommendation for professional skateboarders and as well as like, you know, if team managers knew certain aspects of people or or if just skateboarding understood certain aspects of people without like just calling them crazy or calling them this or that, you know, I think would help a lot of people, you know, and just like spreading that awareness, I think is like really good. Most importantly, like don't be afraid to call your friends. If your friends don't know, your friends don't know. Like if you keep it to yourself, it's just always gonna be just you dealing with it, you know? If no one's aware of it, then you're just struggling alone.